These five prompts are my secret sauce for producing really great content with ChatGPT. And today, I'm going to A, just walk you through them and show them what they do, why they work so well, and I'll also just give them to you for free. There you go. So you can go to promptomizer.com slash free, and you can just click this right here and copy it into a text document or a Google Doc, or if you want to reuse it or uh, whatever. You just steal them for free right now. So let me show you why these are so amazing. By the way, these have taken me like a really long time to tweak and develop and optimize that sort of stuff. I'll put my face up here for now. So let's go through these and then I will actually do a live example with you. I have some information pulled up for a blog post. I'll just show you how they work. So the first three prompts are the heavy lifting of AI blogging, the heavy lifting right up front. Number one, I want to write an article. Here are some details. Okay, we're just priming the AI with what we want to do today. Title, this is a placeholder right here, the title of your post. Brand, a one sentence description of your brand. These are all pretty straightforward, right? My writing style, and then you could have one sentence, you could, it could be longer if you wanted to, but you need some adjectives describing your writing style. Smart, witty, funny, authoritative, like, like Will Ferrell or Tina Fey, like some, you know, you can get creative here and experiment with what works for you. I'll show you what works for me in just a second. And then formatting, you can leave this one off. I like looking at actual headers and stuff. So I use markdown formatting. Formatting, I want you to format everything in markdown. Okay, now this last sentence is actually surprisingly important. Don't write anything yet. Do you understand a simple yes or no will do? Don't actually write anything yet is going to A, save you words and tokens for ChatGPT and Promptimizer and all this stuff, not just to save you money, but also to help the AI stay more focused. What you don't want ever is bad context for the AI to read and then use, right? The AI gets smarter as you go along, the AI learns as you go along, you don't want to feed it any bad information, if at all possible. So we don't, don't want to waste words. Don't actually write the post yet. Do you understand? By the way, this is the actual prompt. AI is always looking for an action. What do I need to do? Do I need to write? Do I need to generate ideas? Do I need to write a blog post? Do I need to write you a song? <laughs> Whatever it is. Do you understand is the actual prompt. A simple yes or no will do. Basically, it just says, okay, here's what I need to do. Yes, I understand. No, I don't. And usually... That's actually what the AI will say. Okay, priming. Prompt number two here, same sort of thing. Here is some more information needed to write this article. And you can see what we're doing here. We are front loading this AI, again, no bad words. We're front loading this AI with what it needs to produce good, authentic content that sounds like you. Facts and opinions. So to demonstrate this, I'm gonna do a blog post here in a second reviewing a pizza oven. It's actually like a super cheap off-brand thing, Bake Brothers Pizza Oven. I own this, it's in my backyard right now. I compiled my thoughts, my opinions, my overall review. Why do I compile these things? Why do I front load the AI with these things? Because the AI doesn't know this. It needs to be accurate and the AI doesn't know this. It's going to get this wrong or it's gonna just make stuff up. It's not gonna be me, my authority and expertise. So I front load it with this information. Really quick, on the same lines, prompt number three here, that always just works. Same sort of thing, except for instead of accuracy, I'm trying to address thoroughness. We know what search intent is for SEO, yes? Like we, we need to answer all the users' questions. We need to give them what they need. We need to solve search intent, it's pretty simple. But a lot of times you need to, maybe you do your research, maybe you go to Google, and actually look at the keyword, maybe you inspect what your competitors are doing, just to see like, what do I need in this article? And you can also straight up like explore some of these things here. What should I looking for? What is the best fuel to burn in a pizza oven? That sort of stuff. What is the ideal size oven for pizza? All this other stuff. So I wrote down a few for my little example post, basically just off the top of my head. I could grab some more, with a Google right here. In fact, you could just do all these if you really wanted to like, you know, hit the word counts or whatnot. For me, I'm gonna keep it simple right now and just stick with these three. I use no SEO tools for this. I literally just thought of them off the top of my head. 
and I pasted it in there. I'm actually just gonna, you know what, I'll just show it to you in action right here um, in Promptimizer. Okay, let's go over here. And actually let's open up a new tab because I'll come back here in a second. Let's go with create a new post. And oh, you know what, I need to uh, select a brand first, which is my pizza brand, select that. That'll actually pull all my brand details in so I don't have to type it in every time. Um, create a new post. Let's go here. And then let's grab my uh, facts, my thoughts and opinions, my review, that sort of stuff. Just paste it in here. All right. So we've got our uh, our facts here and just paste in these other ones. I usually don't use it. I usually just write right here in Promptimizer. So I'm going to run through these and then I will go through uh, my other two <laughs> super prompts. So priming, I am going to use ChatGPT4 for this. And here's the first one. Let's see what this comes back. Usually, okay, this is good. ChatGPT 3.5 usually gives you like a little bit more. It doesn't follow your instructions quite as well, which is honestly one of the reasons I love ChatGPT 4. But this is working uh, well enough. So it's yes, yes, yes. And now I've done the heavy lifting of this post. Theoretically, at this point, even before we talk about these other prompts I have done here, theoretically, you could probably tell ChatGPT to just write a blog post. Write a 1500 word blog post. It would probably start, it would probably do that. And in fact, it would actually probably do it pretty well. You've given it enough information here about your brand, about this article, to have it sound like you, hopefully, at least more than it usually would, to have it accurate, you fed it that data that it needs, and hopefully to make it more thorough, to cover the points you think this SEO article needs to have. Technically, you could just do that. So I usually don't, by the way. Uh, I usually start with the outline only because I like more control. Again, I'm trying not to get bad words. I don't want to have to come back and re-edit and re-edit and re-edit. I want to get things right the first time. And so I usually start with the outline right here just so I can tweak it if necessary, to be honest. And this is ChatGPT4, so it's actually going to take another minute here. While it does this, I'll actually go ahead and pull up my blogging prompts right here. Oh, let me show you this next one. Let me show you the next super prompt. This one right here is what I'm going to use. I'll generate the intro in a minute just so I can like show you how I like to use this. Rewrite that to be funny and more personable. Here's the thing. Eat. E-E-A-T. Google. SEO. Right? Authoritative. Using the word I. I reviewed this oven. I have this oven. Here's what I think. And honestly, the more we use AI, everybody's going to be using AI to blog, the more important it is that it's actually your words and not the AIs, <laughs> even if the AI wrote it, if that makes any sense. The, my point is here is to find two adjectives. Mine are funny and more personable. That's my brand. That's all my brands right here. I can make AI content good with those two adjectives that sound like me. And nine times out of 10, if not 9.5 times out of 10, I'm happy with the result. And I, I'm going to show it to you now. Look at this. Looking good here. All right, let's actually go to write the intro, and then I'll rewrite it with my thing here. Uh, let's do write the intro. Remember to use markdown formatting. Chat GPT-4. We'll take a hot second to do that. But my point is here, you can try my words, funny and more personable. Rewrite that to be funny and more personable. You can also try your own. I would actually recommend experimenting uh, to find just this one sentence right here. You don't want it to be super long. You should boil down your thing, uh, your style, your tone to two adjectives. Now this is okay. Welcome fellow pizza enthusiasts. Let me introduce you to the Baked Brothers blah blah blah. Um, affordable and amazing off-brand alternative to the famous Uni Pizza oven that we all love. All blah blah blah. This review, I'll blah blah blah. This is okay. It's not bad. But I'm gonna do this and we're just gonna see what happens. Rewrite that to be funny and more personable. Uh, are you ready to dive in the ooey gooey? And then it has emojis right here. I love that. We got uh, a republic. This is highlighted. Uh, I'll be spilling the tomato sauce on my own adventures with this scrumptious little oven and revealing if it really deserves that perfect pizza pie. I love this. This is so much better. Like, I wish I could write like this all the time. Some of these I might change, but honestly, this is good. Right here. Um, let's talk about my, my magic prompt number five right here. Do you think this article is complete? Question mark. Did it accurately address the question slash topic? What else could we include to make this article better? So... What we're doing here 
is generating ideas. That's all this is, we're generating ideas. And I'm here to tell you, every time I've used these exact words, I've added something to the article to make it better. So I am going to, I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna generate a few more sections here using GPT-4, which is gonna take a few minutes, which is why I'll, I'll pause the thing. Look at this, man, it's even got my emojis right here. I love this. Features and accessories, sure, it's following this right here, which I could have edited, but I'll generate these sections and come back in just a second. And we're back. All right, so I actually generated quite a few things. I actually ended up switching to GPT 3.5 just because it was faster. Um, I got my conclusion done, and then I'm going to just toss this one in there and see what it comes up with. I'll also notice, uh, have you noticed, rather, that it actually generated this section called customer support, and it actually talks about, while I haven't personally had to contact their team, given that it's a smaller enterprise than Uni, the response time might take a little longer, nevertheless, rada yada yada. Basically, it worked, right? I wrote this in there. It's using my words. It's making this blog post from me and not just AI. So that's why I love these prompts. I love priming the AI up front, doing the heavy lifting up front, and it makes the rest of this process so much easier. So here we go. Uh, yes, I believe the article is complete. Okay. Beep, beep. However, to make sure this article is even better, we're going to do some actual pictures of the Uni oven. That's always a good thing to have, so don't forget that. Photos of pizza. Yep, yep, yep. Link to the product page. Yep, yep, yep. Oops. I uh, did that. Additionally, how to use and maintain an oven. Okay. So I did not have this in my article. Okay. How about this? Let's just do write a short section on the following. How about this? And I'll just like copy this and paste it in there. I see this works every time. Never fails to generate another idea. The photos is just good advice, but that's not actually a content to produce right here. But that last line, yeah, you might want to talk about maintaining, cleaning, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. It's a good idea. That's something that I would like to see. Or even like, that actually brings me another idea, which is, will this last as long as the on-brand uni pizza ovens? Will the, the off-brand stuff last as long as the on-brand stuff? And then it has this right here. I copy that, paste it right into my thing. So there you go. So you can go to promptmizer.com slash free. You don't even need to log in, by the way. You don't even need an account. You just go grab them here if you want to copy them and tweak them to your own heart's desire. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments below this YouTube video if you have any thoughts, if you have any other magic prompts, or you use something similar to this. And uh, I hope you have a good day. Adios.